is I'm gonna oh god it's so loud. Hold up. Ow. Okay, that's a little better for me. Hi everyone. Happy T Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. It's not Monday today, so you can officially call me a liar because on Sunday I said that I was gonna stream on Monday, but um I, uh, I got a little sick. So, Matt, she went out and uh, bought a thermometer today. Crazy, I know. Um, so I got to take my temperature and tell, you know, how how sick I am or not. Hello, no, I want to talk to you. Don't talk too loud. What do you want? He's got the good shit. I can't afford it though. I think. I don't have anything to sell. Oh wait, I can. Hey, you wanna? Whoops. You want that coffee? You can have this coffee. I really don't feel like I need this. Oops. Um, but yeah, so I got a thermometer today. I uh, I walked to uh, a pharmacy thing and got one. And uh, went back home, waited 15 minutes because according to the instructions, you're supposed to like wait after doing any kind of exercise or all those things to, um, to to check to see if you are sick or anything. Wait, can I? Is this an actual edge or? Oh, you can go into it. Oh. Hello, are you okay? I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. Oh. He's gonna charge me a withdrawal fee at the same amount as my actual thing. All right, switch boy. <laughs> I wanted to uh, make the stream title something about Shrek or something silly like that, but this is the best I could come up with. Um, he's gonna take a fee, but it's kind of okay, I think. Because I really just wanna buy um, Is this worth it though? No, nah. Unless like we get into some big issues and really need the multi-bottle rocket stuff, then I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait. Oh, it's like a little baby kraken. It's a zapiel. Let's hit him with a with a freeze beta. But yeah, um, yesterday I I slept instead of streaming because I was feeling under the weather and then woke up at like 2.30 a.m. and went back to sleep. Oh boy. And um, then today I worked for like a couple hours and then decided to call it for taking naps and stuff because I wasn't super good. Um, oh wow, 4,000 experience, that's pretty nice though. But so I got a, a thermometer today and took my temperature. And it was like 100 something degrees, so I, I took a nap. Oops, no, 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 I don't want to talk to you anymore. How was the dinner? You were so excited for Sunday night. It was good. Um, I had I had the sweet potato, and that was that was wonderful. The sweet potato is always good, and two sausages because I was feeling extra decadent. And uh, noodles with spaghetti sauce. So that was all. That was all really good. Oh, this is such a weird feeling not being able to actually see anything. Oh wait a minute. Wait 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 wait. Hawkeye. Now you can see in the dark. There we go. I, I really... I didn't even think about it. There we go. But yeah, the dinner was really good. Today I had McDonald's. <laughs> Demonic Petunia. Because uh, I really did not feel like cooking at all and just wanted like lazy comfort food. So 
after napping for the better part of the afternoon and uh and whatnot i figured i'd have some hot sauce related things and get some nuggets with uh i got um i had the mighty hot sauce today which i've never had before like i didn't even know it was a thing up until today um so instead of just the regular buffalo sauce i got the mighty hot sauce which is very like tabasco-y and vinegary which is not bad it's got like that sort of um almost numbing effect on your tongue when you eat it but that was good though like it uh cleared the sinuses pretty well <laughs> you know the one thing that i that i dislike about uh the wonderful world of pandemics besides pandemics is that the moment you mentioned that you're like not feeling well everyone's like do you have the rona do i need to avoid you for two weeks <laughs> hi <-yen. laughs> it's like no i i have a fever but i can still taste it's fine it's not like i was gonna see you anyway i'm, I'm all good thank you Though it is nice, you know, that people care enough to ask and such. That's that's always good. But yeah, I, I, that's the reason I didn't stream last night because I wasn't feeling terribly well, and it kind of persisted today, to today. So, 150 HP. That's nice. Cool. Uh, I can I should have maybe also have been making a map of this place, huh? Now that I think about it. Oh wait, hi bird. Why can't I? Oh, I couldn't move and I got real confused. All right, everyone ready for pickle time? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Click. I like that Ness is the only one out of the water. So he's just like standing on Anna's head. Oh, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Also, um, I know that Magicant is a place in uh, in this game as well as the first, because the table of contents of the Legends of Localization book kind of spoiled that for me. I'm really curious if that guy is coming down from Magicant every time. Village Tendas come... Wait, what? Village Tendas comes nobody. Far is because, Queek. Because it's far, nobody comes. Eh, sad. sad. Uh, no, this isn't backwards. What is what is this English here? It's like Yoda, but different. Like I get it, but also what? Ooh, IQ. Um. So last time. We can give it to Anna, get her up to 40. Or give it to Lloyd and get him even, like, more brainy. I don't know how brainy he needs to be overall, you know? Like, for fixing various broken items and such. Like, at what point do we need to stop feeding him all the IQ capsules? I'm gonna give it to, uh, to Anna because she's at 39 and I think it would be really cool if she was at 40 because that's a better number. And also she already has the IQ capsule, so there we go. Okay. Oh, that's a creepy looking slime. Oh, he looks like Belch, almost. Okay, and there's a dude there. Oh, there's liquid right there. Alright, so are you giving me a hint at all? Village Tendas comes nobody. Far it's because Queek. Okay, so I think you're just a dead end, probably. So you're gonna find the best coin to decide who you want to give it to. What um what makes it the best coin? Like just defense wise, slash like stat bonus or something? Or does it block against like certain things? Okay, so five hundred damage. <laughs> five hundred damage takes care of the eels. I suppose they're kinda kind to us in that these enemies don't seem to be that strong. Though they are aggressive, to say the least. <sighs> oh, he's pink. I don't know. I'm gonna go after the eel first, I guess. All right, and also bottle rocket. I mean, not bottle rocket, bazooka. I almost forgot we had that. 
but yeah um so besides wow 130 besides being under the weather um you know there was something in my head i was gonna say something <laughs> um Oh, I played I played a little bit more of that Shadow Tactics Blade of the Shogun game. That's what I was gonna say. And um, it's fun. I I got the um, there's like a little um, it's not it's not Shinobi. What's um like young female ninjas? It begins with a K. Kunoichi or something like that. Anyway, she's like she's like a little ninja girl, and um, her abilities include setting down a trap and then you use like a bird whistle to get people's attention to come towards your trap so they step on it and get killed and um and it's kind of neat and pretty fun and uh the interactions between her and like the main ninja dude who's a little <laughs> he's a little on the more disgruntled side of things um it was it was cute so it was fun Oh, hey, there's a... Hell? Hess? Hell? The... Oh, heli. Helicopter. Highest defense increases by 80, increases luck by 20. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Ugh. I would hate this swamp, though. So, fun fact, um, where I went to high... S no, middle school, actually. Middle school, um, there was a swamp directly next to it. And so that was, you know, you weren't hostile. Oh, he's going to explode. Um, I'm thinking if I want to do anything. Um, but there was a swamp directly next to it. And, um, you know, you weren't allowed to go in there because once you were in the swamp, teachers couldn't see you. Uh, it was kind of dangerous because the water like the swampy muck water was definitely over your head if you were to go in in certain parts of it and um yeah and there were many strange creatures that lived there like i remember when there was a like rumor going around that like alligators lived in there or something even though uh no i'm pretty sure there weren't people thought they saw them sometimes but i'm pretty sure they saw like nothing I'm pretty sure there aren't any alligators in new england um or crocodiles I could be wrong, but um, my friends used to go in there every now and then after school because, like, you'd. It was really neat. We'd build paths through the swamp, like, um, like by bending trees down, or like people would find boards or cardboard or whatever, and they'd build like little bridges across different parts. Oh wow, we are nice and strong. Um, and it was neat, but one of my friends, I remember he jumped over someone's head once, like right at the beginning of the swamp and uh, jumped like, <laughs> it might have been like at which he, um, like the speed and heaviness of him down into it, but he sunk up to his like thighs into the swamp and like couldn't move and get out of it. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't much care for water that's over my own head. So, ninety-nine percent sure you're gonna hear that poos, but only love him. One out of one twenty drop from enemy knows Starman super. Oh, I can already tell you that um, I'm probably not gonna grind for it. But if it happens, then I then it happens, and I'll be happy with it. Like, I'll is it? Um, I assume it's not a one-time enemy that spawns but probably like they're around so i'll fight the ones i see but omar is almost pretty good at what he does regardless so once we get him back good but good to know ah damn oaks is there an actual way to prevent um like the damage from these guys exploding Because I remember, like, that happened in Mother 1, too, where the trees would explode, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was in Mother 1 as well. But, um, even, like, trying to use shields or those types of things. But it doesn't, it never really worked. 
nicely. Just was a bummer. This baseline is pure anxiety, by the way. Yes, now it's a limited time enemy. Okay. Like this shit. Like I, it's like, it's good that your health stops going down at the end of the fight and why not? Ooh, nice. But it'd be great if you could just stop. <laughs> Go left. But that means that there's probably a dead end this way and there might be a present or something to get. Maybe. Hear that or loops back around. I'm not making a map, so. Do, 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 do. Yeah, present. See? Worth it. Rock candy. Uh. Sure. How about... Anna, you can have it. I got some. Oh, that's kind of good for her. Cool. Alright, hold on. The way that I always play games is like going the wrong way first. And I don't I don't think I know anyone who doesn't play that way, honestly. Wait, I can't. Okay, there we go. Hello, belch creature. Are you guarding something cool up here? Wait, you're not an enemy. You can I can talk to you. You may have forgotten. Oh shit, it is Belch! <laughs> Don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and has returned much stronger. <coughs> Belch has also changed his name to Puke! Oh god, he's like a Pokemon, he evolved. <laughs> Drowned to death in Puke. Do you think that's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Yes! Incredibly. Incredibly so, Puke. Master Barf. Hi, buddy. Aren't you looking disgusting today? Um, I feel like he was weak to something. So he's a boss fight. Yes, yes, he is. He suddenly gets what's coming to him. A multi-bottle rocket. I can't do this fight with Omar, my party, right? Like, we don't get Omar back, like, super soon. Because it'd be a slight waste of the experience, I suppose. Suddenly, Omar swooped down from the sky. Oh, speaking of, Omar used his new power of PSI Starstorm. Holy shit. Alpha does that much damage? Oh, wow. You won. Ness and his friends gained the 31. Wow, he and he's here for the fight and he gets the experience. Nice. Oh, we got a bat. And Ness leveled up. And Anna leveled up. This is good. How about Lloyd? Did he... He just did, but... No. Wow. That bottle rocket made that very, very easy. Oh, and the... Uh, that Casey bat. Oh, the coin is to the left. Gotcha. All right, well, I can go back. Do, 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 do. Whoops, no, no. I forgot that Omar was back. Give to Ness, please. Thank you. And, ooh, wow. Holy shit. 71 jump in offense. Holy crap. Has a 75% chance of missing. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I'll, I'll keep it equipped for a little while, I guess. See, like, how bad it is. Like, if my RNG is going poorly or something. But... 75% chance of missing? That is... Hot garbage. Okay. Oh, hello, ants. All right, let's let's see this. You engage the pitbull slug. Wait, pitbull slug? They're cute, though. Kind of. Just missed. 
Um, if if he doesn't hit a single one of these people this entire fight, I'm gonna be very disappointed in him. Try it again. Here we'll we'll try to give him the opportunity as well. Nope. Ness didn't get a chance to hit it a uh, second time. Try it again. Souvenir coin inside. Anna takes it. Oh, so that's the coin then. Probably. Does it say that on the bat? There's a good chance that you may just whiff. Yeah. I see that. Alright, well, as far as defense goes, who's who's garbage? Uh, defense 145, 129, 146, 118. Yeah, but Omar, if we give Omar anything, he goes down, right? So that's not happening for that. So it makes sense, I think, to give it to Anna. And she already is holding it, so. Nice. Great with our first attacks with them. Oh, you mean when you uh, when you sneak up on them? All right, trying this again. Look for presents. Fourteen. Vulnerable to fire, good to know. Yeah, that's, that's two misses, Ness. It's not looking too good here. I just want to see him actually hit to see like what kind of numbers we get from him having that offense stat, you know? Nope. You, you gotta do this, Ness. The party might- oh, there we go, 408. See, that is- that is real nice. It's too bad there's no PSI skill that like, like in Ward of Horror, how you can prep a attack so it always hits. All right. I think Lord of goes Anna can equip ribbons. A free ah. All right. Well, maybe um, I'll wait for for Anna to get a cool ribbon soon, and then we'll swap it over to Lloyd. Because for now, I'm just thinking whoever has the lowest defense gets it. Do, 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 do. Hi, Eel. God, I love Eel. Maybe that's what I should have done. I was like struggling to figure out what I wanted to eat today for dinner. Because I really, like, I didn't want to cook, obviously. I also didn't really want to go down and like answer the door to uh, like get food. Because having to get dressed when you rather just stay in bed and sleep is a struggle. But I couldn't figure out what I wanted, but I wish I had thought of Eel before then, because maybe I would have got that. That's Eel is so good. Remember, um... Oh, we're already here. What was it? Um... Which show was it? Oh, it was Your Camp. Your Camp kind of advertised a really good looking place in Japan that um, I forget the name of it, but it's very well known for its eels. Mainly lake eel, I think, because it's on a lake. Um, and I think next time, because there would definitely be a next time, I think, for me, when I go to Japan, um, I want to go there, like make a day trip of it, go see that lake, and try out the eel, because it's supposedly really, really good. And that would be really nice. But anyway, in the episode itself, they show like how they prepare the eel. and. Like they kill it right in front of you and then like fry it up right away, which I, which was surprising to me because I'm not, um, like normally you think with like fish and those kind of things that like there's little bones and all sorts of stuff that you have to remove first, but yeah, apparently that's, that's how it's done, I guess. Uh, let's do bazooka. It's 24. You know, sure, let's, let's see that again. Anna's best ribbon increases defense by 110 and luck by five. Oh. More rare drops, huh? 
The Manly Fish. Good name. But yeah, speaking of anime, though, that new episode of Slime, that was fun. I, I like the fact that there was actually action in it this time. That was good. <laughs> and, you know, kind of a a repeat for Yin since he already knows. But um, I was a little disappointed with the uh, super duper spell that uh, Vingura did. Just because I expected more after being so disappointed in the last episode. And also because... I don't know, I'm just... Evangelion's been on the mind recently. Just because, like, the um, the studio that's, like, handling the advertising for it, on YouTube at least, like, keeps releasing tiny, like, 20 to 30 second clips of the damn movie. With, like, the, uh, the theme song, the One Last Kiss song over it. And it's just, like... It's like someone hanging like a candy bar in front of your face or something and be like, oh, you want this? You, you want it? You want it? And then snatching it away from you constantly. That's how it feels because like we're not going to get <laughs> we're not going to get rebuild number four outside of Japan for a while. And like they've been <laughs> they've been very threatening to cam rippers and everything else. Not that they normally aren't. And not that I want to watch a cam rip. Like, in general, I feel like watching, like, a really, really shitty version of, uh, oh, that was mortal damage, um, of, like, recorded stuff through someone's camera is not a good way to experience a movie. Gotta wait for, like, the Blu-ray rips or something. But, like, I, I do want to see it because they have, like, they showed Shinji fishing and also, like, wearing Toji's jacket, which is kind of weird. Everyone has a one to one drain for drops. No, so let's go through that. Huh. Ooh, this looks promising. So basically, I'm, I'm just not gonna worry about. Oh, wait, you're friendly. Where's Shy? Yes, yes, you are, apparently. What is this? Trash can? Weird junk. It's a TV. And we have service out here. Very nice. Do you think that dude who delivers comes out here? Or do you think we're gonna get it like, um, like I remember one time in the desert, they couldn't come all this way. I don't think they can pick anything up actually, right? Yeah, storage lockers are full. <sighs> Alright. Why don't you deliver um, something to me? Things that we can just drop and get rid of, like the toy air gun. And um, other things. We could take the for sale sign <laughs> and then just like sell random crap. Um, how about also... Oh yeah, chicken. I forgot that I have this. No idea what to do with it. Uh, give me the HP sucker too, because we'll just drop it. And... Give me a hamburger. Yep. Now here's the real question. Omar? Yeah, okay, Omar can hold everything if we need him to, so that's good. And we have random junk. Trash can, anything in here? Let's see, there's a death ray inside. Excuse you. How, how good is that? It's better than the spectrum beam. All right. 
I'll, I'll take it. Just keeping your death ray inside your trash can. You know, no biggie. Oh, here he comes. Well, I guess he can get through the swamp. Mm -hmm. mm, 18 bucks for a hamburger. It's like DoorDash. Okay, so that's good. Where's, um... Who's holding it now, though? That's the real quick. So, no more toy gun, please. Thank you. And get rid of the HP sucker. And uh, Anna can eat the hamburger. So, from McDonald's, I got the... Um, the double bacon quarter pounder because I don't think I've I don't think I've ever actually had one well before today I normally don't go for like the big sandwiches normally I just stick to the dollar or value menu as they call it nowadays is it isn't it kind of sad like don't don't you miss when dollar menus or value menus were dollar menus and they actually only cost a dollar for each thing I, I miss that those were nice times Hotel here. Okay. Inflation. It's weird how the Federal Reserve has an inflation fetish. So let's give him... Oh, what will we give you? You could take the Spectrum Beam, I suppose. Or we could just drop it, I guess, so we don't really need it. Uh, take the Casey Bat. I don't want it, but it's really cool. And you can also take my talisman ribbon. And I never really use the neutralizer. Put away the key to the tower. Oh yeah, I don't need that anymore. Good point. Bye bye. Sorry for the inventory management, by the way. I know it's not the most exciting part of any stream, but it does have to be done every now and then. Although, um, two days ago? Yeah, two days ago, I, um, I booted up the GBA version of Mother 2 because uh, the Mother 1 plus 2 ROM GBA thing um, is how I played Mother 1, right? But it also has Mother 2, but in Japanese with just the menus translated. And um, I had that Mother 2 passport, so I figured that that would be that would be a good thing to kind of play to practice reading some hiragana and katakana, and maybe pick up a new word here or there. And um, it was it was good, but the uh, the GBA audio is super crusty, like. Like it's bad, hold on. It's so bad. So like you've heard the um, the little intro riff a number of times, probably from this stream, right? With the opening of Mother One. Where is the GBA emulator? There it is. I just want you to hear how like crunchy this is. It's 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 bad. Alright. Just gotta click a few times. Oh god. I might accidentally click another thing. You can't drop the laser gun? Oh shit. Hold on, I, I wanna be accidentally clicking two things. Okay, ready? You can hear this, right? Listen to this crunchy audio. Wait for it, gotta get past ape. Oh, wait. Shoot, I accidentally clicked past it. Hold up, let me do this again. So there's a nice Mother 1 music that sounds nice. But Mother 2, if I just let it play out, and I can swap this if, you, if you'd like to see it. Hold up. If the game capture will work. Come on, game capture. You can do it. Apparently not. Ah, never mind. Oh, there it is. Like, listen to that. It's so... Like... It's like someone took the MIDI and just, like, 
squeezed it through a hog. It's so... Ugh. The GBA no sound is... It's, it's really bad. Alright, anyway though. Swapping back to, uh, to Earthbound now instead of Mother 2. Just gotta... For some reason it takes a little while for the, for the capture to actually snag it. Oh, and also I need to unpause it. There we go. Like, it's just, it's not good MIDI. And I don't know why the GBA, like, why that sounds that bad, because the GBA has plenty of games that have really nice stuff. So, it's just like, it's a little weird. All right, so I can't drop that one thing, so we'll skip over that real quick. Um, I want to just get rid of things that I really don't need. Like, why do I have all these guts pills? You know, Give me this burger. You can drop chicken and use bomb and bring food. What does the chicken do? Because I don't, I don't remember ever actually like using it for anything. Uh, also defense spray. Let's gonna grab these items though. All right, let's explore this place. That, that's that's enough inventory management for a little bit. Okay, so your hotel. In the whole inn we have free stay. Yes, I will, I will happily stay at a free inn. Thank you. It's for selling the chicken. Ow. Oh. Does it sell for a lot? Thank you. Bye. We're gonna put that nice carton of cream on top of our burger. It's gonna be delicious. Hot springs good all over. This is getting nice and toasty in here. Reminds me of um, the latest episode of Azure Lane Bisoko Zenshin. It was, it was so relaxing and nice. And like, look, look at happy, look how happy Zuikaku was. That was a good one. Like 88 bucks. Alright. So not really worth it. He's also shy, but he is a... Oh, you're an item shop. Okay, well, you're not a very good item shop. <laughs> that stanky, like... Wee -ho, wee -ho, wee -ho, noise. Okay. Do, 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 do. I like this place though. The music, this kind of reminds me of uh, the Carbuncle area in Crystal Chronicles. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. There's only one tender who's not shy. It's me, Bubby! You know what? There's something scary that comes from the underground. So we covered up the hole. Lots of dinosaurs there. I went there once, but I came right back because I was so surprised. There's a talking stone that talks a lot. Do you want to go and see? <laughs> I understand, but I'm not as strong as I look. Sorry, I guess I can't help you. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversation skills. He needs to overcome his shyness first. Shy that we are. Okay. So there's a hole down to an area, it looks like. And he's strong. I wonder if there's a way we can convince him to like bust that open or something. What else is here? Hot spring, Tucky. Have I talked to you? I, um, oh wait, you have horns. You're different. We're all shy. Rumor I heard a book. Rumor I heard a book to fix shyness. There is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Okay, so we probably we need that. Is my guess. Book. Book to fix shyness. We don't happen to already have it, do we? Hieroglyph copy. Um, hold on, it's not that book, is it? No. Hmm. 
I feel like I must be missing something. <sighs> Book. Pig nose. Okay. So maybe we have to come back here later, I guess? That's fine. It's nice that it's uh, like a bunch of free stuff though. So that's handy. Do, 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 do. Normally whenever you find a dead end though, it's uh it doesn't stay stay dead for long. So Hello, it's been a while since we talked. This is Apple Kid. We're having beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Anna's lab in Winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. What what is this music? <gasps> hey! Oh no! What are you doing to me? Yeah! Ah, who are you? Nessa, I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Andrew in some winters and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Sorry. But also working hard on my invention, so I hope you understand. Say hello to your friends for me. Peek. Well, how convenient. All right, so uh, Apple Kid stolen while at lab in Winters has a book we need. That's the, my note to myself. And also, I accidentally re enabled the uh, inputs. Okay, there we go. We stir the higher copy and bad key machine and lucky coin. Oh, yeah, the lucky coin could definitely go. Boop, boop. Uh oh, I moved the wrong direction. Well, luckily, it's just one slug, I guess. I like his background, though. I, I don't think I've just... It might be the same background as everyone so far, but I'm just kind of noticing it now. The YouTube channel Video Game Animation Study did a, did a good video on like the special effects used and like the tricks in memory and uh, graphical programming to make those kind of things. This is, this seems good. Let us go to Onet real quick. We'll, we'll avoid the express and just talk directly to our sister to do the rest of this fun little management bit. Um, and then we'll go off to Winters to go look around the lab to look for clues. Um, but yeah, Video Game Animation Study channel has a has a good video on it. I forget what the name of it was. Like, it wasn't specifically Earthbound. It was just like tricks for cool stuff. <laughs> the videos on the channel are interesting enough that like, if you were to watch like all of them while trying to find the one video that I'm referencing, you, you'd probably still be pretty happy. So it's, it makes for really good like second monitor listening slash watching while you do something else like um, like playing Genshin Impact or any other game that involves lots of grinding or anything like that. So that's what I tend to do anyway is have one game up on one screen and then throw YouTube or something else up on the on the other one. Don't do that for all games though, just the grindy ones. I don't really, I don't care about the picky nose. If it's just for finding truffles in the desert and truffles aren't really necessary, then it's kind of like, meh, whatever. So. Pharaoh's Cursed. Hmm. I don't really want to deposit the hieroglyphs though, because I figure we'll probably need it at some point. I never used the rust promoter stuff though. Check out. And 
I will take out this delicious sandwich. Wait. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just accidentally took out the bike. That's fine. That's what it is. All right. All right. I'm good. I, I'm good. I don't want to do much inventory management beyond that. So just silly things like protractors. Oh, actually, we're, we can go sell it. The hieroglyphs is for if you forgot to dance in front of the Sphinx. Oh, is that all it's for? Well, that's dumb. <laughs> The benefits of using like a notepad document open while you uh, do this stuff is you write these things down so you don't have to do that. Cool. Well, in that case, we can do that. I figured it was actually used like later on for something else. So, never mind. Wait, did the dog just? Did dog and mom just fall down from the ceiling real quick? No. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's good. Uh, gonna head into Onet real quick, sell off one or two things, and then move on to uh, the next place, which I think is probably gonna be Winters. If not Winters, we'll figure it out, but my guess is there, so should be good. Do, 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 do. Uh, drugstore will work. Do, 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 do. Not buy. Sometimes I just menu through things for no good reason. Two dollars, yes. A penny saved. It's a penny earned. You want this protractor lady? Oh, I know you do. You want this bicycle? Ah, uh, they don't want the bike. I wonder if I could actually sell it back to the person who gave it to me. Eh, it's fine. Where's that bike? You shouldn't throw the bike away. Ah, okay. So the bazooka to the drugstore. <laughs> it's like, here you go. I heard you've been having problems with the local riffraff lately. I got a, I got a fix for you. Game. Oh, remember when our like hardest problem was trying to fight that dude in the back? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, so we want to go to a place. So let's teleport. Also, Alex, have you played this game? I feel like it's like something that you would have played. Uh, went some winters is where the lab is. Oh, almost. For an apartment, it's gonna use their official names or the names you have them. Uh, you, yeah, you can refer to them whatever you want. I know what their official names are now that I've like been playing and reading um, like their localization book and whatnot. So I do know their official names, but um, <laughs> in general, I, I'm gonna refer to them as the names I have here. So, as long as that doesn't confuse you too much. Oh, taxi. Try try again, Ness. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. You've never played Mother? Oh no, this is uh, this is Earthbound. AKA Mother 2. I don't know if that makes a difference at all. Right through a building. Never played any of the Mother games. Okay. Wait, you're new, I think. Lloyd, long time no see. You've gotten taller. Oh, I don't have time to chat right now. Tony's missing. I thought he was with you. He suddenly disappeared. He's usually very responsible and leaves a note at least. Oh no. 
Lloyd's gay lover is gone. We need to find him. Monkey, do you know? Kukyo Kika. The chewing gum monkey wife. Kako Kyo Ki. Uh, yo, you're awful. Alright, if I was Lloyd's lover, where would I be? Is it this one? He's probably, like, gonna be where, um, wherever the other dude is. What do I think of Pua's character in Primal? He's pretty good. Um, I mean, the Star Storm is pretty nice. Kind of surprised to see him having that because, I mean, most of what I know about Ness is, uh, through Smash Brothers. So, and Ness is super, super Smash. Final Smash is Star Storm, right? So, I'm surprised that Omar's the one that learns it. But I mean, he's cool. He's the Kung Fu Kid. Also, we just went around in a circle. But I like that, um, like he's a less good Ness. <laughs> or that, that's mean to him. Uh, he is a similar character as Ness as far as like the role he fulfills in the party. It's just not quite as strong, or at least not physically strong. Like, he's a mix of Anna and Ness together, which isn't bad, I think. And having someone who, like, learned Revive, or Healing Gamma, rather, like, early was nice. So, there's one thing I know about Omar, I should be able to yeet him at <laughs> me. No, but what, the one thing we all know about Omar is that he's a filthy XP-stealing whore. That's what we know about Omar. Nah, it wasn't his fault. It was, it was Anna's fault that we that we did that. Yeah, I know. One fucking HP. Like, it wasn't it wasn't his fault that he that he won that uh that round over that stupid stupid boss. It was Anna's fault because Anna used prey and it caused brain fuck or whatever it's called on um, on the boss who then killed itself when Omar barely hung on with a single HP. <sighs> Just all that HP lost like tears in the rain. Damn it. But no, Omar's good. Oh, oh, jokes aside. I wonder if... Do you think Thunder has a higher chance of hitting because they're electronic? Or metal, rather. The Whirling Robot does not give a shit. Oh, maybe. 103. Bam. Oh, I meant to go find that video. Hold on, let me see if I can find it now. Uh, go ahead and bash him a few times. Also, I want to I want to test this theory that Thunder will actually have a higher hit rate against something this metal. Do, 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 do. This is such like relaxing music, even though we're being attacked by giant alien like Romules. Little angels. The lesser Mook in his cohort. I like that his name is Mook. It's a good name. I think we want to kill the Shambler first though. I think. Are they they both might actually use beams, now that I think about it. Also, I forgot to deposit the um, Spectrum Ray, so that's a bummer. The ShamWow. He kind of does look like a ShamWow, doesn't he? Right, the ShamWow was just like an orange cloth, basically, right? So yeah, he's like a, he's a ShamWow. He's a walking one. He's good. He's good. 
And that's now level 54. Whoa, when did she get into the 50s? Ooh, defense down Omega. Nice. I swear, I like don't read anything for the longest period of time and then suddenly realize that my characters are a higher level than I thought they were. Okay, we're almost at the beach now where Tessie is. Oh, okay, never mind. So the chewing bubblegum monkey is probably down over this way. Yeah, there he is. It's so shocking. He was such a great guy. Wait, what do you mean? Who? What are you talking about? Sebastian Chum was kidnapped. Poor Sebastian. Do you think Sebastian's kidnapping will be in tomorrow's paper? No. You think anyone cares about people like stolen away in the woods by skinwalkers? I don't think so. You can tell you're near the beach because you're in a snowy kind of first force. <laughs> it's just, it's just natural sciences. You can tell. Oh wow, that's weird. That um, that mighty hot sauce that I mentioned earlier that I got from McDonald's, it just like, I got, like I took a sip of tea and it like activated it, like the little bit left in the back of my throat. And so I had black tea and, uh, or no, sorry, roasted green tea and Tabasco all of a sudden in my mouth. Finally saw Tessie, it's like seeing a UFO. Emerged from the lake and flew towards Stonehenge. Aha, clues. Crunchwrap Supreme Sauce. Did Ordinary Sausage just put out a new video? Is that what you're telling me? Come back, Sebastian. Hey, that's a haiku pump. I love Ordinary Sausage. The hair flex in his video <laughs> against with Babbage. Oh God, it was so good. I laughed for two minutes. Like legitimately laughed for a couple minutes at that when I realized what he had done. Like it didn't even, like it didn't occur to me at first. I was like, wait, why is he shampooing his hair before he's eating a sausage? What What is he doing? And then it dawned on me, I was like, wait a minute. Cause I don't really watch Binging with Babish that often. Like I watch a good amount of like food YouTube in general. Just it's like my 3 a.m. food, like YouTube watching. But um, Babish is never actually the one who I watch in that. I think I've watched like one of his videos. So I just like kind of tangentially know about him because he gets mentioned by other various food YouTubers. Um, but I know that he's bald. And so when that clicked, <laughs> that was good. Also Ordinary Sausage Man, he has, he has very good hair, like very, very like thick black curly hair. Like it was impressive. So good flex, good hair flex. Also, I wonder if the Crunchwrap Supreme Sausage, that, that sounds like a three out of five to me because the, uh, all that, all that tortilla and whatnot, is probably gonna dry out the sausage a little bit. But then again, who knows? Maybe the, maybe the cheese hole will bring it back. Have to watch the video later. For the thick water sausage. You're gonna guess it too. Will it blow? How many Mark Ruffalo's will we have? <laughs> I don't, I've, I'm pretty sure I've watched like nearly every single video on that channel and I still don't know why specifically he uses Mark Ruffalo as a counter for how good something blows or not. I'm gonna imagine there's gonna be a good amount of like cheese gunk spread from the blow. That's my guess anyway. Because what else would. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, I suppose I don't have like a counter argument of why you wouldn't use a Mark Ruffalo as a uh, will it blow? Or as a rating system, I guess. Why am I using freeze? He's, he's weak to fire, not freeze. Messiness caused by forcefully clearing us. <laughs> I'm just feeling t It just sounds so wrong, <laughs> just like talking about it. Uh, go ahead and patch. Oh wait, I should use the mirror. I want to know if Omar can become a mook. Do, 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 do. All right. So he's over at Stonehenge, which we're pretty close to. I think we have one more cave to go through. 
Oh, do I want to fight all of you? No. Just gonna go all out against these three. It's the unlucky day. Some people theorize it's a statement about Mark Ruffalo blowing. <laughs> He's not that bad of an actor, though, is he? Mark Ruffalo blows the actual size for. Like, I feel like he's pretty good as the Hulk in uh, the Avengers, right? What else is he in? He's in a number of other things too, right? Just the Hulk has kind of become like the major role that everyone knows him for. What, was he in... At one point, did he do a role where he had a really shitty Boston accent? Or is that a different actor that I'm thinking of? I really don't keep track of actors very well. So... We might as well suck up some experience points while we wander around through here. Boop, 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 boop. Just stepping on roaches and things. Ooh, ooh, we have engaged the arachnid. Still, ordinary sauces is definitely like one of the better YouTube holes to fall down, I think, overall. I went down a um, a minor mythical kitchen binge a few days ago, or last week. It was sometime last week because I remember I remember talking about it on stream a little bit because it's very cringe-inducing to watch, but for some reason I like couldn't stop watching it. Something about the dude kind of trying to bridge the gap from his uh, his millennialness to the Gen Zs and watching the awkwardness that comes from all of that. It's just, why can't I go through here? There we go. It's, it's just something else to watch, I guess. Relatable in some ways, but also still cringing. If we want the second rope. But they do do interesting things on the show though, I will say. Like even if they're, uh, what do you say? The presentation is a little bit funky every now and then and cringy. They did make Mountain Dew Doritos flavor and apparently it was actually pretty good. So that's, that's me. Oh, I bet we had, oh, uh, wait a minute. I think we need to go to Orange Kid. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna go down to the lab to check on things. But if I remember right, um, whoops. If I remember right, the um, the path down in the middle of uh, the cave, like in the middle of Stonehenge, there's something blocking us, and I think it might be shaped like an eraser, at which point we would need the eraser eraser. Although wait, that was Apple Kid who called us and told us about the eraser eraser, right? So it might just be left at the lab? So yeah, we'll go to the lab first. Excuse me, cave boys. Hello. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. Oh wait, never mind. We've talked to him before. Do, do, do. Is it like wrecked in here? No, not really. Hi, mouse. Been waiting for you. My master, Apple Kid, completed this eraser eraser machine. Wait a minute. Since when is Apple Kid? Since when is he the master of the mouse? He was living in the mouse's house before. Like he was freeboating off of the off the mice. While I was calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this. I was there, but it was helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. And I got the eraser eraser. Hey buddy. Ooga booga. Waka ooga wa. He's got fresh eggs. These eggs fresh. Woonga. Instant revitalizing device. Yay. Cool. All right, so probably a good time to save it because we might face strong things down in Stonehenge. And also um, I'm gonna call the uh, delivery service and give them the bike and um, 
maybe the other weapon that we have Lloyd hauling around. Alright, thanks Mr. Mouse. You, you mind moving? Ookum, ookum. Who was it? Someone sent me um, Corone earlier today. Or yesterday. Oh no, it was, it was my friend McKenny. Um, sent me a Corone clip. She has a thing where she was, uh, I think it's the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country maybe? Where there's someone who goes like ookum, ookum all the time or something like that. Where is this thing? Okay, we don't need the spectrum beam anymore. Huh? Oh, we only have one space. All right. So no bike. Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah, maybe it's Banjo Kazooie. I know it's an N64 game that I never really got around to playing. So. Maybe I should play that sometime, like go revisit a bunch of N64 games on stream. There it is, there's the eraser. And I used the eraser eraser. Alright, and our first fight is... The Mook Senor. Do, 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 do. Uh, freeze okay on him? Yikes, Omar turned into Mook Senior. <laughs> okay, fire not. Okay. Vulnerable to PSI fire. Open to hypnosis. Ah, there we go. What happens if you try to use the bicycle while in combat? <laughs> Nothing happened. Alright. Figured there might be some funny. Omar gleared with his eerie eyes and did not work. Okay. Also, um, I don't know if anyone else enjoys like the idle clicker type of games, but um, Crush Crush is a free one on Steam, and the uh, the weekly bonus like there's a daily login bonus type thing, and this week's that just started uh, you get a new girl with it, and normally when it comes to, like those kind of daily event login type things. Um, they don't repeat or you have to use like the in-game currency that's kind of hard to collect. Uh, we should be making a map. Um, the in-game currency to get the things after the events end. So um, yeah, you know what, hold on. Go back. So just noting that if you if you want that character, because Sawyer's pretty cute, I guess. You have like a phone conversation with her and it looks like they're adding like a full version of her into the game. So. Just a thing if you're into those kind of games. I enjoy them as a sort of random thing. And also sometimes the girls are cute on occasion, like Quill. Uh, where's my window capture? There we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna wander back to the start. Okay, this this is plenty good to start. So we'll put a start here. We just came down through the thing. It's a little, a little, little big, but it should be okay, I think. Okay. Anyway, bashing time. Oh, actually, wait. Hypnosis time. But yeah, I enjoy them. This is something. Something to kind of do and like get that serotonin from uh, random bonuses and things happening. I think there might be a. Uh, I think there might be like an etchy version of it, but I don't have it. I just have the regular version of it on Steam. 
It was more like using it, using it as a crutch while I waited for like a better dating type game to come out. Hello, Switchboy. Welcome back. Okay, so now that my map is actually going, we're gonna do our best here. Go, go, go through. What did you miss? Well, we're um, we're over here, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I won't make a number system yet. We're in the place past the eraser eraser, so that's good. I'm fighting Luke Seniors. So besides that, not too much. We talked about uh, ordinary sausage, primarily. I think was the main subject of conversation. <laughs> Which is a great YouTube channel. And also, we, we were told a lie by a mouse, pretty sure. Because the mouse in the lab referred to Apple Kid as his master, but pretty sure at the beginning of the game, Apple Kid was freeboating off of all of the mice and not the other way around. So. I wonder I wonder what the eraser eraser is in Mother 2 because in Earthbound the pencil eraser is actually like the takoyaki eraser basically or just the like octopus remover because the statues are shaped like octopus octopi um, all right we have a we have a right and we're gonna go left first Wait, why well, was it Apple Kid was freebasing? Why? I mean, he just, he lived in the mice's house because he didn't have like anywhere else to go. He was poor. Pretty sure. Feels good to be using fire on more than one enemy. Just feels wrong to use AoE stuff like that on singular enemies on occasion. The eraser was a wooden doll in Mother 2. Cool. Time to play the rare drop game. Oh, it was, um, it's like one of the characters' special weapons dropped from these dudes. Or are you talking about the coin that you mentioned earlier from the, uh, the Super Starman dudes? Cool, that worked. Actually, here's a question. You look like you have PSI. Can I use use you all its batteries? Kind of. Got 9P. Nice. Do, 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 do. That bazooka is really good. It's quite nice. Also, good experience points here. 10K each. Oh, I realized the power of Shield Omega. Tell me more about Shield Omega. Oops. All right, what do we got? Protects everyone with power shield that cuts damage to half and reflects damage back to the enemy. So yeah, it is a like souped up version of beta. Cool, cost 30, which is pretty expensive, especially for Omar. That's a third of his P. But maybe it'll be Maybe it'll be worth using. Oh, oh, shit. I hate when you right click and paint and it kind of drops the line. Okay, so we have a path down this way and also a path up this way. Spicy jerky inside. All right. Oh. All right, here's an exit. Oh, I think there's a star man right there. I think I see his silly little legs. Oh. Does this... Does this actually connect back to where it is on my map right now? Mm -hmm. 
Actually, let's just go for offense here. See how well we can do doing that. Because PSI Hypnosis, um, like the big one, costs a lot, so. So I was thinking about how um, how I played Yakuza Kiwami, sorry, Yakuza 0 and then Yakuza Kiwami, and then made it through part of Yakuza Kiwami 2. Holy shit, 400 damage to Lloyd? I don't know, kill them fast, kill them fast. Jeez, okay, maybe we won't play the offense game. I think Hypnosis is probably the right way to go here. Wow, that was a lot. Is that a jerky? How good is the jerky? Hang the pieces on a laundry line and leave it out in the sun for maybe eight months. When eating, you recover about 250 HP. That's really good. Um, remind me, what's Lloyd's max? 270. Yeah, so that's a waste. So we won't do that. All right. Say hello to the star man. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Just got fucked. Mook seniors have a 30 tooth chance of having a PSI caramel. That's pretty good. Star man has them dropping a brain for lunch. Star man supers have a 128 chance of dropping a sort of kings. Yeah, this this is that one. So it did make a, a loop. Cool. Well, let me go. Mark. I'll come back. Oh, they go invisible and get the, the drop on you. That's cool. Fuck you. 97 damage. Rude, sir. By the power of anime. Let you know. Um, paralysis? Don't really know what's good or not against him yet. Spy. Like, we fought one of these dudes at the very, very beginning of the game. As a boss. But but I don't really remember. Freeze looks like it works pretty fine. Not, he's not weak to anything else. Oh, and Omar can't mimic him. Too bad. Oh, paralysis does work though. So that's good. Uh, can you suck? Just, just curious. Yes, we can. All right, cool. So we can use the Starmen if we paralyze them as batteries. Oh, he died. Brain Shock also works. Cool. It's nice when they're actually weak to the debuffs. So you don't feel like you're wasting your P when you use it. Handy. Okay, cool. So we're going to go back to this area right here. What's up, Star Dude? I want to kill the mook first. The bazooka having AoE is pretty good. Um, that's something I said earlier about like how weird it feels to use AoE against single targets. That is true most of the time, except in the case of like Final Fantasy VII. Because once you get beta from the Midgar Zolem, if you do so early, you just want to use it all the time against anything. Because it's so fun to watch. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Mookie. I think the only game that I know of in more recent memory that has a similar battle system as Earthbound, I think it's like Hylix, where like you kind of have like the four bottom things like this, but you don't actually see the characters and just you see the moves happening from like the from like this perspective. 
I think Hylix has that. But I've never actually played Hylix. I've only ever seen it played. Uh, keep on sucking. But that is a very funky game. Speaking of funky games, the other day when I was looking through the Switch's online catalog, um, I noticed that it had um, Hypnos, Hypnospace? Hypnospace Outlaw? Oh, Hypno sounds wrong to me. Hyperspace Outlaw, maybe? Hyperspace Outlaw. No, it is Hypnospace Outlaw. Um, 90s internet simulator in which you scour Hypnospace's wide variety of weird and wonderful websites to hunt down wrongdoers, while also keeping an eye on your inbox, avoiding viruses and adware, and downloading a plethora of apps that may or may not be useful. <laughs> That's the, the description of the game. We are now level 60. I've seen that one stream before. Wow, two old babies. Nice. And P went up by eight. Awesome. That was a good bonus. Yunk, and now we take this path right here. Mook Senior. Sorry, sir, we'll have to put you back in your home. There's a question to consider. When does one put their parents into a, uh, into a home, you know? At what point does that become a thing? Uh, let's do this. Not that I'm considering it for my own parents, but just wondering. Let's use thunder. When you can afford it and they cannot take care of themselves. Hmm. Just thinking about stairs. Do, 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 do. All right. uh, do we actually manage to get him with the process? No. I prefer my mooks asleep. And my starmen frozen. It is a weird thing though to watch family members, you know, parents or not, or anything else, um, is... It's a weird thing to think about. There we go, Luke's seen defeated. He's gone back to the home. <laughs> Just moving into an apartment with, that's flush with the parking lot. Like a trailer. I just got like stuck for no reason. That was weird. The one that none used to live. Oh shit, you're right. I forgot about that. Fun fact, I used to live next to a nun. <laughs> she was a nice lady from what I remember. Not that you wouldn't expect anything different. I mean like as much shit as the Catholic Church gets, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, I feel like you hear less of it about nuns. Have you noticed that? Like, there's, there's, and it's probably, it's probably based around reality. But you, you gotta know, there's gotta be nuns out there abusing people. Oh shit! Someone just died. That's gonna be really awful. Oh, that's right. They do have that stereotype, like whipping like kids' hands because they're using their left hand. Also, what is that status effect? Oh, that must, that must be diamondized. I don't think we've actually seen that yet. First time. Cool. I mean, less cool that we're actually being hit by, but you know, cool to see it. But yeah, this nun, she was nice from what I remember. Don't remember her name. Um, where brain using, okay. I think, pretty sure Gamma, oh shoot, I don't have it written down. I think Gamma heals. The diamond ice thing. Yay! This is this is not like three steps. Yep. Yeah, that was an interesting apartment because for the longest time, this really nice lady lived there, and um, I don't actually know what she did for work, but she was she was this nice, you know, she'd uh, 
like the kind of old lady that, like cook people stuff every now and then. Um, I remember one time we like a baby bird fell from uh, like the rooftop of the porch area and uh, she knew someone who took care of animals and so because of her we saved the little baby bird's life because like we picked it up put it in a box and then brought it to uh, this friend of hers and then after that there was a dude who was really into biking remember that and then I think after that was the nun or maybe the nun was before the biking guy I don't remember. It's weird how you like kind of forget these things and then remember. No, there were three steps. It's it's like they're like three big stone steps almost. Diamond dice instantly kills a party member. Oh, so they, so Ness couldn't move at all during that then, right? Well, it's good that both Ness and Omar have uh, have the healing then. Like healing gamma, so that we can fix those issues. Cool. What does Pharaoh's curse do again? Ectoplasmic ooze is disgorged out of the dreadful box, and the enemy may be poisoned. Gone after one use. Okay, we'll just use that on something next time. As of the latest Google stream, it's one big concrete slab. Weird. All right. So we have an area with a down and an up. Let's do let's do down first, I guess. Probably a tiny apartment. I think it had three bedrooms in it. I think I saw. I went inside of it once. I think it was like the really small kitchen area. Um, and then the main living room, which was actually pretty big, and then a short hallway to the uh, bedroom. And probably the bathroom was in that hallway as well, I bet. That's my guess. So not not particularly huge, but it wasn't, wasn't bad. I mean, I, I'd probably be pretty comfy and cozy in it, you know? Well, yeah. The apartment that I grew up in was a two-floor apartment. Which is nice, but when you have six people in a family, you kind of need that much space. Um... Oh, you said brain shock works on these sleeves, right? Blunt. They, they definitely don't need that much space nowadays, though. So, the the continued process of working it out, trying to get them out of that place, is <laughs> ever ongoing. But, um, yeah. Also, I'm sorry, one of the mooks just died. Why did they die so much? What did I hit them with? I wasn't, wasn't paying enough attention. I know Anna used the big fire spell. But I didn't think it was going to do that much damage. Oh, maybe it was Lloyd and his bazooka. Yeah, it was probably the bazooka. Actually, in uh, two weeks. Well, a little less than two weeks. Ooh, oh baby. Two oh babies. Can I get a three? Sweet. Yes, I can. Actually, she went up by 23. Very nice. I'm gonna realize the power of Healing Omega. Okay, what does Healing Omega do that's different? Also, I'm gonna write this down because I should have it here. So, diamond dies and paralysis. Healing gamma equals beta. I'm gonna enable random shit on the emulator while I type this. Oh god, what's with the crust? I've enabled something horrible, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think I sped it up. Oh god, no. What did I do? Hold on. I like accidentally enabled like super fastness. Oh god. What did I do? Uh playback rate? Nope. Oh god. <laughs> what did I do? Show frame rate. 
we're at um 826 fps that seems normal uh hold on we're just gonna we're just gonna save state the game real quick right that, that's say right save game position slot zero exit i'm just gonna reboot the emulator because i'll probably <laughs> probably fix that <laughs> sorry about that I don't know what key I pressed that uh, caused it to freak out, but hopefully this this works. There we go, much better. Okay, so Omega. In addition to the effects of healing Gamma, this revives a friend who has become unconscious, and it completely maxes out that person's HP when revived. All right, so it's guaranteed to revive and give them their full thing. Also costs 38 P, which is a lot, but could be really good in a pinch, I suppose. I don't know how much we'll be using it though, honestly. Like that's, that's a lot of P to use, so. Yeah, I think life needles do pretty much the same thing overall. So, all right, anyway, moving on. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Okay, um, so as I, was, as I was saying before we sped up the heat death of the universe, the um, in a couple weeks or so I'll probably be heading home for a little bit, uh, just for like an extended weekend I think. The reason why I remembered it was because uh, talking about like all the junk in my family's uh, apartment and whatnot is that I told my mom I'd help her move some shelves and things around. But um yeah the plan is this feels way too this feels like i'm going the right way and i don't like it it makes me want to go back to this area instead Ooh! oh it's the good music ah were you on um because of your immuno happy time were you on like the the fast list for vaccination spit on people again not be charged with felony assault joy that's the real that's the real win right there thunder thunder oh that was work ah gotcha let's use starstorm haven't done that in a while That was good damage. Nice. Replenish this fuel supply. He can, wow. He revives all of his HP, holy shit. I bet he's weak to uh, paralysis though, maybe. Actually, maybe not, he's a robot. Yeah, try it anyway. Doesn't hurt to try, right? And also, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna boost Lloyd's offense and then use the bazooka for funsies. Hey PG, how's it going? Oh, I did it again. Does paralysis work on these dudes? Nope. I don't suppose I rarely have a de-ruster doing it. No, I, I sold it. All right, let's just try to go for the for the big smacks, I guess. See if we can manage to kill him. This dude looks like he's gonna give you a high pressure. <laughs> oh god, why? <laughs> I mean, he's a medical droid, right? That that must be why he was next to that old senior mook. He's somewhat weak to brain shock and freeze. Oh, freeze. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of using that. Brain shock would be good though, because then he might like heal us entirely. Let's try it. If he doesn't die. Major sinus is kind of enemies. That's just what hot sauce is for. There we go. I really love that background music though. 
Not that any of the music in this game is bad by any stretch of the imagination, but that that music in particular I'm rather fond of. Okay, this this feels like it's going like to the right place. I don't know why I get that sense. But I don't I don't like it. Stairs. Yeah, it's like amnesia, the dark descent. Whenever you see stairs, you just know something horrible is around the corner. Kind of like that. I see stairs and I assume I'm going to run into a boss. <laughs> Try to have a mirror this man so the poke can fool you. Oh, are you... Switch, what are you talking about? The, um, the robot guy? I think... I think streaming-wise, um, there's a significant delay, unfortunately. Mr. Enema. Oh god, is that what we're gonna call him now? I'm not opposed to it. Enemas are a perfectly natural thing, maybe? What is the medical purpose of an enema? I know what its sexual purpose is for, but I don't know what its, like, medical purpose is, as far as that goes. Like, why would you want to clean out all, like, your gut bacteria and everything else? Like, just for, like, colonoscopies and those kind of things to put a robot or, like, a camera up there and whatnot? Like, that's the only thing I can really think of why you would want to, like, flush out your intestines, you know? I can't think of anything else that you use it for besides a colonoscopy. What, a, what an interesting stream we have here. We talk about making sausages, enemas, putting people into homes, nuns, the Catholic Church. It's just been a full variety today of all sorts of topics. Coffee enemas exist? Does that... that can't be good for you. Like... That's gotta be like, directly inject caffeine into your bloodstream, is what I imagine that's for. But like... That can't be good for you to get that much, like, all at once without it being filtered. It's a matter of time until bubble tea said I'm like... <laughs> no. I don't want to... <laughs> Thanks. I'm now imagining people with, like, shitting tapioca balls. Thank you for that mental image. Go back up. Whoa, I like this background. But like, is that is that the only use of an enema? Does anyone know? Like non-sexual use, I mean specifically. See, we're playing baby games like Earthbound, although Earthbound's not really a baby game, but regardless, we're playing... <laughs> SNES games here on this stream and whatnot, but the conversation matter that we talk about is why the stream is marked as mature before you come into it. Got me googling medical purposes enemas. You know what? Your Google history thanks you. You will now have so much more information at your disposal. All right, let's find out what's down this path. Oh god, if I can make it. Let's do it. Oh, more stairs though. All right. Now I'm, I'm less sure. Oh wait, now we're good. Here we go. X. Perfect. So we do, it is those other stairs. Uh, Guts capsule. I'm gonna give that... Actually, I normally give them to Anna. 43, 31, 28, 18. Let's give it to Omar. For constipation. Ah. I guess that makes sense. Now you know. Return the surface and use the healing device. You think so? I mean, if there's a boss up those stairs, there probably totally is, then I don't really mind failing against it once because it will give us a chance to like test debuffs and other things like that on him. Or a GI X-ray, which sort of goes hand in hand with colon cleansing. All right, so that makes sense. That said, the little kid should probably not have to fight the enema machine. Mr. Enema. 
Uh, let's, let's just go for some bashing. And we'll try to recover a bit as well. Gotta see if we can get some additional P power here. Hmm. You know, Mario 3 had a P meter. Did Super Mario World have a P meter? Probably not, right? Because you didn't. There wasn't a flying thing, you just had the cape. Do, do, do. Bring to the other half of the base. Oh. There's more. So, I'm good. We'll try to go as far as we possibly can, you know? Uh, we could probably spare a beta from Omar. Rough life. Ness is now level 61. I mean, regardless of... Oh! New new PSI. So at level 61, he learns. PSI Flash Gamma. Uh, often it will destroy an enemy in a single strike. Cool. And it's often... Sounds like a good chance. Heck yeah, PSI anime. Well, you, did you miss the part where we played the clip of the little kid and his power of God and anime on his side? That is what Ness is. He's a slightly chub. Oh, Mr. Enema is here! <laughs> Get hype. Enema time. <laughs> God. Oh, and it makes so much sense that Mr. Enema is with the Mook Senior. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Now remember to respect your elders. And drain their peepees before they get their enemas. Oh, he could not turn into the power robot. Huh. Now, did it just fail because- Wait, whoa, I used paralysis instead of hypnosis because I'm an idiot and pressed the wrong button. Omar, no! Well, that's- that's not good. That's not probably happening, I think. We'll try. But I don't think he's gonna- actually, maybe he'll survive, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, well, no, he- he's good. PSI freeze you so oh, no, he's he's dead. He's not he's not recovering from that. Oh shit! He held on though. Three eighth chance of instant death. Wow. That is way better than one would expect. Um still though, this is bad. Oh wait, now's the perfect time. Um, I forget who has the item, though. Someone... Spicy Jerky Anna has it, I think? I think Anna has it. Yep. So Anna's gonna give the Spicy Jerky to Omar. And Omar is going to continue to do his best. And freeze the senior. Reco wow. Omar recovered 6 HP from eating that. Like, what? Why, why did the numbers lie? <laughs> why did they lie so much? Like, it said that that heals like 250 or something like that, when clearly that is not the case. Try to mirror it again. Who has a strict diet? Yeah, I, I know, that's... I kind of figured that's, that's why it didn't work too well, but like... Oh, and Omar died. Because the thing exploded. That's fine, we have life noodles. He hates Western foods. But 
I guess that's he he grew up where he grew up, right? Living on a mountain. Here, Omar, eat your fucking noodles. You punk. Okay. And I think Omar can be the one to heal Anna. Maybe Lloyd as well, although we could just use the Hungry Hungry Hippo Machine. Alright, so, yoink! Ooh. Oh, hi Starman! Fancy meeting you here. You confront the douchebag. And he fired a beam that Lloyd dodged. Good job. Buying the mesh and stick in the nest, dude. Buying the mesh and stick in the nest, dude. Buying the mesh and stick in the nest, dude. What's taters? What's taters? Buying the mesh and stick in the nest, dude. It's weird how that goes along with it, and I don't know why that came into my head. But, like, I almost want to try to find it. Oh! Oh, it's Tab. I think Tab speeds things up. So paralysis didn't work that time, huh? We need a few good potatoes. Boil them, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, boil them, boil them. Potato, 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 potato. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Sorry, kind of felt like that, like, made sense. I don't know why, it's like, it's the same beat, almost, in the background. There's a free thing of life moves in this area. Ooh, that's good to know. Thank you. Considering that we used one of our four noodles? Gonna keep draining this dude of all of his worth, though. At least until, like, Lloyd finishes killing him with his bazooka. Again, really, really miss that, uh, that Ness doesn't have... Holy shit. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I blinked, what just happened? Was that... That wasn't Lloyd's baz bazooka that did that. What? Omar is now level 53, though. Oh, where's my uh, drawing? Yank, yank. Whoa. Background changed. Ness is getting a little bit low on P. Really wish that he had the magnet ability. Also, is there a way to rearrange items in your inventory without, like, depositing everything and then taking them out in a specific order? Because it would be really handy to put, um, the bazooka into the first slot for Lloyd so we could just, like, double-click really fast on the goods in order to use it. Amazingly enough, the Starman's guts became something ridiculously huge. Oh, paralysis doesn't work. It's weird. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 Like, it would be nice if we could, like, take this and swap it up to where the slime generator is. Ness and Lloyd are a good combo, though. So much... Gr like, I, it's not even... I'm not even trying to grind in it. feels like I'm grinding, though. I like that. I don't know what version of Starman those are that, like, die that easily, but I'm happy that they do. Anima Man, though. And the good music again. Is 
like a combination of the bass line and those high octane notes up at the top there. It's just, this is just like, I think this has got to be like my favorite track in the entire game. I think there's a broken harmonica in the area which repairs into a better weapon for Jeff at 54 IQ. A broken trumpet to the defense shower. Ah, oh, that's cool. Alright, I'll keep an eye out. Let's murder the starman right now. He's a pretty he's a pretty snazzy looking dude though, isn't he? Look at him. Look at that face. Sucking the power away for a little bit. Actually, does that work on... I feel like the hungry HP sucker doesn't work on robotic enemies for some reason. Dang, this boy's still going. Heck yeah! I'm not even feeling tired like usual. <laughs> Which is weird. It must be the power of McDonald's. That's that's the only explanation I have to offer. Time to talk about lower appendages. Oh no. Well, we well the Anima Man is still here. You're right. So we could. <laughs> are you talking? Oh, are you talking about feet and toes? <laughs> we had a different conversation earlier today about how this this nice enemy here. Looks like he's ready to give people animas. Coincidentally, he often comes along with a uh, Mook Senior as an enemy type. So you can interpret that how you would like. Ow. Pain pickle. Perfect. Oh, a lot of 12,000. And Anna now knows PSI Thunder Gamma. Great! A move that I probably won't ever bother using. Like, does anyone... Okay, is there... I wanna try out... No. I'm gonna try out different buttons here real quick. I just wanna know, is there a way to actually... No, none of the uh, none of the extra buttons seem to like let me move these around. Unfortunately, I really want to swap like the slime generator with the heavy bazooka. Maybe if I hold on, I want to test something. If I have Lloyd give things to people, and then have Ness give them back, obviously, can we like shuffle it around to make it a little bit easier? to select the bazooka whenever we want. Like this is purely like a quality of life convenience thing here. I'm trying to accomplish. I think so, I mean it moves it up. The only problem is gonna be the equipment because we have to unequip it amongst other things. No, no! Oh, thank God. Remember when I dropped the flame pendant because of that? There's a speed capsule and PSI caramel in the chest, and a Pixie's bracelet, which is an armor for the arms. Increases defense by 55. Oh, resistance to sleep and hypnosis. That sounds handy. Okay, it's now slightly easier to get the bazooka. Slightly. We have to like actually unequip things off of Lloyd though. Shit, I don't remember which one's switch. Which ones? Also, we'll just get things back real quick. Again, apologies for inventory management. I know it's not exciting, but it must be done. 
Also, you get to listen to this weird alien jumbo music. Diamond band and coin. Okay. Diamond band and coin. Diamond band coin. So you can't just like give it to himself or something silly like that. Okay, and here we go. We are now good. Bazooka is now way easier to select. Alright, take it easy, Alex. Lucky coin. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the earthbound. Oops. Okay, there we go. So now when I go into goods in battle to select uh, things with Lloyd, the bazooka will be the first thing there. So that's good. Whew, okay. Uh, I think we went down another one on the map. Oh, hello, machine. Bonk. Nobody can take a bit from him, right? Omar's definitely doing better than Anna as far as P goes. Oh, it doesn't have any. Oh. Why did I think it did? Oh, probably because I used Magnet Omega and the Mook does. So my bad. Okay, let's see if we can get past this one. <laughs> Yay, and then he hurts us. It's times like this that make me wonder, like, if you had tech speed on the slowest, would you lose more health because you wouldn't get out of the fight faster? It's just it's such a weird system. Here you go, Anna. Why don't you use a caramel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving right along. Okay, uh, we need to like make this go down farther. All right, so there's an up path and a forward path here. Let's do the up path first. a lot of enemies. Health grows slower or faster depending on tech speed. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that they, you know, they have it that way. Oh, I don't like fighting two of these guys at once. I hope fire does okay against these dudes. Yep, it does. Oh, fuck you. I don't have enough PSs! Just go for the bashes. Do different attacks have different attack speed, I wonder? Oh. Oh, hi, Dad. Hello. It's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No! Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Dude. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. It, it, just, it's, it has to be done. We gotta kill the aliens, man. Oh, here's the life nose. 
So, gamer instincts, correct, in going up first. Come on. Sometimes the diagonal doesn't quite hit right there. Yoink. Ooh, hello. Welcome to the alien base. It's like the factory. Oh shit, he's he's gold. Starman Super, there he is. That lad. He's got the magic. Hit him in the face. Destroy. Oh, we won't. Gonna try to kill him before he can kill me, though. I feel like he's probably gonna be decently strong. Guessing I'll stream tomorrow. Yes. Very low. Ooh, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He has a shield? Wait, I missed it. Did he cast that and... Oh, no. Luigi. Okay. Actually, wait. How are we... Is he... Lord Omar, are you morally injured or are you okay? Are you gonna be okay? Uh, shield killer. Buddy old pal. Oh no, that was mortal damage. Oof. Dun -dun -dun. Shield removed. Did he did he cast that like right at the start, or does he just start with it? He doesn't currently have his shield up, so try to try to go for the kill real quick. Fuck you. Okay, so we sh I guess we should kill the robot first. Thinking on this logically. Oh god, but he's gonna explode and do tons of damage to all of us. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, pain pickle. He starts with the shield. See, that is that is good knowledge. Oh, we got a present. We got a super bomb. Cool. We are. Not having a good time here, though. Um, hey, uh, Omar, buddy, old pal, you wanna wanna help Anna out? Yeah, that was that was that was unpleasant. Hey, Anna, mm -hmm. eat this pizza. What else we got? Let's see, what is the serum? Oh, right. Anti-poison stuff. Bring some mummy wrap as an attack item. Okay, so this super bomb. It would have dished out some heavy duty destruction in combat. Gone after one use. Cool. Man. We are like at our at our rope's end here though. So there's a down path, like a ladder path, and a other path. I'm gonna do this one first. So we'll go as far as we can. We're, oh, well that's nice. Oh, we got the jump on this one. <laughs> In the <laughs> <laughs> Inside the present, there was a sword of kings. 
We just one shot at a superstar. Good old streamer luck right here. Bam. <laughs> there we go. We, we got the Sword of Kings. It's all good. Oh shit, this is where Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, tricks a bunch of soldiers, right? He makes the... Um, the stormtroopers think they hear things and then like slips inside and shuts down Death Star's like tractor beam so that Han Solo can escape. Is this anything? It almost looks like a door, doesn't it? I guess not. Alright, well we got a broken harmonica. I guess this is nothing, so I'll put an X there. That was really good luck though, so that's nice. Also, killing them instantly like the previous two was really nice. Because then we don't get into this situation where we actually have to fight them. Okay, so he starts with the shield, right? So, thus, the shield killer, Lloyd, the Rock Johnson, is here to help out. But we'll just we'll drain him first. Actually, we're gonna. I'm gonna have her continue to drain him and have um, Omar do PSI freeze because he's got a little bit more. So, an animation of Earthbound would be really interesting to see, actually. Because it'd be kind of fun to watch, like, <laughs> watch kids use telepathic powers and bazookas to attack random, like, space people. Like, if it had the same kind of animation style as Kirby right back at you, that would be, that would be pretty good, I think. I kind of missed that show. I don't remember how many seasons that show had, actually, now that I think about it. Probably only like one or two at most. I just remember being really excited about it when I uh, would have the opportunity to watch it on like Saturday mornings. I think it aired after, after or before Digimon. Like the very, very first season of Digimon. Uh, that Starman might attack us from behind. But Kirby right back at you had a really good... Uh, mm, this doesn't feel good. Use the Pharaoh's Curse. I guess the, the best way to do this would be to try to kill both of them at the same time, right? Just attack with Punelli of the Sword because I'd be doing Paladin. Oh, a good point. He has, he has way more power now, right? Oh wait, Lloyd, I need you to kill the shield so we can actually do damage. Bonk. Hmm? The Superman. There we go. Gets a little bit of damage over time. It's not good. So he doesn't have a shield, apparently. Just weird. Whoa! But I used... Did I not use the shield killer and it didn't work? I'm confused. Oh, maybe I accidentally clicked the slime generator or something. 
There we go. He's on guard. Interesting. Hmm. It's tempting to just use the super bomb just to just to finish them off. But can we do enough damage to the Starman before he uh, gets healed? No, not really. Cease. Oh, they call for help now, too, huh? All right, Omar is now Superman, <laughs> or Starman, rather. There we go. Think of a good, clever name with the emphasis on not clever for uh, whatever the YouTube archive title name will be. But yeah, we are. Yeah, I really lucky this stream though. The sort of kings was nice, amongst other things, and that it came from like a um, like a non-fight is even better. Please die. We, we don't we don't have the P for this. Please die. <laughs> Only hurt Anna. Thanks. Well at least we got an O baby on offense for Lloyd. That's that's pretty handy, I guess. Also, we're poisoned, which for once the vial of uh, serum. Thank you. Now run, run, run from the star man. Okay, so what is down here? What will we find? Oh, a bunch of angry people. Okay, we got a PSI caramel. Is this what you're looking for? Another two Earthbound fan anime. That's cool. I will watch that later. Let's pause it. That's neat though. Uh, 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 no. Why must you fight? Destroy. Actually, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. But Omar is very close to dying, just looking at uh, his health and how much these dudes tend to do with their attacks. All right, his shield's gone, this is good. Gonna go ahead and eat a caramel. And then before he gets a shield up, try to get some damage in. Shoot, I think I just run you the first deck. Oh, that would have been smart, huh? 
Is it, um, if you run when you have the initiative, does it, like, guarantee you getting away? Oh, no. Actually, the reason I gave him that was because I wanted to heal Omar. There's no point in uh, de-shielding him yet when we can't actually do any of the uh, like PSI moves. There we go. We're good. That's less than ideal. No, you, you should clearly drain the P from Lloyd. That he's the one you want. Gonna keep gonna keep draining with uh, these two while uh, Lloyd and Ness chip away at the Starman South. The tried and true tactic, as it were. Also, I really I really don't like daylight savings. And like the adjustment period is really annoying to get used to. And also, more so than that, I really hate that it pushes the streams that I normally watch from certain people further away into the night. What am I stuck on? Oh, the thing. And so then I can't watch them. I have to watch the VODs later. Which is less fun than watching them live because like... Oh no, an enema machine. It's got the good music, but... Oh! <laughs> Am I happy I got the sword? Yes. I mean, anytime you get something that's super rare like that, that's really... That's great. And, like, just having Omar have anything equipped is nice. Because it feels really weird to always have emptiness there. Though it makes sense for his character. One more attempt, and then I will... Then I will try stop trying to run away. There we go. Run! Oh god, there's so many of them. Insane amount of enemies. And we didn't have the initiative there, so... On the bright side, we do have two targets to, uh, to screw with with PSI Magnet. So, like, at the very least, these, you know, help us to kind of <laughs> get by, like, barely. Imagine not having the shield killer trying to do all these fights and having to use PSI to remove shield. What a nightmare that would be. Try to kill him before he puts his shield up. Yee! Ow. Ooh, good damage, Lloyd. Ness is now level 63. If anything, this is really, really good grinding, which like makes me wonder how far, oh boy, how far um, that's gonna go, you know? Okay, so we have two of those. So, sorry, I forgot to kind of be making my map because I was booking it there. Hello. You want to use physical attacks against Starman Supers? Yeah, that is a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> uh, sometimes the, uh, the simple things don't occur to my brain. I know she has a caramel, but I kind of want to... Keep those for like 
in combat situations where I really need them. And also Ness seems to be the one who would benefit the most from using caramels in general because he can't recover anything like these two can. Just trying to have like some semblance of P power so that when we go and fight whatever the boss is or something down at the bottom here, we maybe have a slight chance of winning. Omar realized the power of piss I thunder Omega. Nice. Tell me more about this while I'm safely on a ladder. About this spell that I will never use. Only cost 20. The enemy is thunderstruck for about 200 points of damage four separate times. <whistles> Eliminates a psychic or psychic power shield. Huh. Doesn't get rid of that. You may miss though, huh? So that's too bad. Still, 800 damage is nothing to scoff at. And the fact that it can cut through shields is is handy as well. Ooh, I'm at the bottom of my uh, my thing moves in here. Hold up, I'm just gonna make it like half the size. In in you go, Ness. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> exit mice. Hello, friends. Please take my son along. Yes, I, I will happily take an exit mouse along, thanks. Ooh, do I get to come along too? No. <laughs> oh, you have them already. Good, good, good job keeping track of your uh, family. All right, what's beyond the door? Ooh, flashy. Oh boy, I don't know about this area. I guess I'll go right first. They're enemy machines, aren't they? Oh, there's one of them, the military octobot. I guess I'll try to take out the octobot first. Go for thunder. Bump. I wonder, I hope the Octobots don't explode. Fuck you. Actually, whoa, whoa, Ness, how you doing? What, what's this? What's this health thing you're, you're doing here? Cease. Can you mirror him, please? No. Damn it, Omar, become a robot. You have so much in common with them. Think about it. You want a brain full of emptiness? They have no brain. Like you got that in common. You can do it. I only have enough to do a single freeze. Oh, I don't know if we can actually win this fight. Like, unless we go after the, uh, the bot first. Oh wait, no, we're good, Never mind. I was gonna say, like, if we run out of P and can't do enough damage per turn, then we'll never defeat the enema bot. Heal bot. Should really stop calling them enema bots. <laughs> There's a broken trumpet inside. All right, so there's that. Oh, we'll give that to Lloyd right now though. Oh, we should probably give both these to Lloyd. Here you go, buddy old pal. Carry around my broken shit. Okay. So 
down, around, avoid that nonsense. Does that loop around that way? Hold on. I'm trying to trying to understand. Okay, this is that's an X it's nothing. Who only has a 50% chance up front to mirror and the bots have 5% resistance. Okay, so it's not like you can't ever mirror the enemies, it's just there's a chance of it. Okay, so that's good to know because I've just been assuming that if he can't mirror it, it means that you can't mirror that particular type of enemy. Ooh, Starman? We got the initiative. Oh, and we won! Keep keep doing that. Keep making it so I don't have to fight anything. Yoink. Pixie's bracelet. Oh, that was the one you were talking about before, right? Another X. Must be equipped on your arm, increases your defense, help keeps you from being hypnotized, and also increases your luck. So that was the one you were saying is... Were you saying that was good for Anna? I forget. Well, it's, it'd be okay for Ness too, I suppose. Goes up to 58. There you go. And Ness is one of the healers, so it makes sense for him to try to be immune to things that might cause horrible amounts of suffering in the future. Uh, we have two paths here, though. Okay, so this leads to a door. Yoink. Give it to... Okay. Okay. Lloyd is now full up to 60. Hmm. Okay, so that's that's obviously the way forward, so let's go backwards real quick. And surprisingly no enemy up here, all right. Speed capsule. Who should become faster? 27, 62, oh, you know what, Ness. Ness should go faster. Anna already goes first most of the time anyway. Here you go, Ness, become fast. All right, time to find out. What's behind this door? Oh god, what? Mr. Saturn, what you doing here? No problem here, I beg to differ. Kale, candies, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh no! Oh no, can't see anything. Lloyd, where is Lloyd? Oh, that, that must be Tony in there. Is that, that's not ever dried, who's that? Can't breathe. Plant as much longer. Oh, it's the hippie. Yoink. Hey, star dude. Oh, okay, so we're gonna. You're the boss then, huh? All right. Look how well prepared we are. This would be the perfect time if we had like bread. To use bread. What's the brainstone do again? Wish I knew what that did. Um, do I have multi power rockets? Nope. Nope. Don't have anything particularly exciting for this fight, so we're probably just gonna do it and then get our face like curve stomped in, which is fine. Hello, friend. Let's chat. You're much stronger than our intelligence indicated. You're not whoop, prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the apple of enlightenment may be true, but you must not whoop, underestimate us. The Starman Deluxe Detect. Sup, dude. Just 
gamble it all in instant destruction. <laughs> nah. Uh, let's try paralysis. And also slime. Wait, can you... <laughs> hey, Omar. Why don't you mirror the Starman Deluxe? Try that out. Nope, can't do it. Ooh, pain. The slime worked though, surprisingly enough. He's a shield. Oh, good to know. That also makes sense considering that like the Starman supers exist and they start with shields. We just, if we really want to just completely scroll our chances of winning this, we'll just have Anna pray a bunch, and that'll be a really good way to instantly screw up everything. Um, what about. Actually, sorry, Lloyd, could you shield kill thing, spy? Um, He's weakish, and by weakish I mean, you know, I can hit him. Let's do our best to keep screwing him up. And then slime again. And I guess go ahead and PS freeze. Unless, no, there's not. Ah, I just barely was enough for that. Not bad, and solidified. He also has star storm, okay. Keep him, keep him sticky. We're not doing as bad as I thought. Now that I've said it, he's probably gonna use like star whatever on me or something, but. We're really, it's, it's going better than expected. I wonder, I wonder if a uh, brain shock works on him. Cause that could be a good thing to stick on him. So he could attack himself. needs healing. Oh shit, you're right. Oh shit! I My bad. Ha! Hey! Look at that! <laughs> Ness and his friend gained 40,000 experience. Really did not think that we were going to win that fight. It's, it's fine. Omar is known to survive at low HP levels. He's all good. <laughs> all that aestheticism. Time to use an exit mouse. When you defeat the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base ceased functioning. Yeah, well, tell me more about that. Well, then there are no more enemies here? Or, uh... Or what? This is my really shitty drawing of a uh, Starman Deluxe. Alright, let's talk to people. I was scared, but I knew I'd be saved if I courageously just sat here and waited long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. 
I'm so glad you saved me after all. That's got the Saturn ribbon. I expected there'd be about a 7% chance though you'd rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Ananuts. See you. What? You're looking for the book Overcoming Shyness? I returned it to the Onet Library. Please use the book to help the shy tenant tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow. I was kidnapped by some of Gigas' toadies. All right, Onet Library. Sorry, that's our next destination, but I'm probably going to end the stream as soon as I get out of here and find a good place to save. Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start on the... Excuse me. I want to start on the phase disorder as soon as possible. I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. You got important things to do. I was kidnapped while milking a cow on my farm. Didn't think they'd get a ransom by kidnapping little old me. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I would live, live, live 10,000 years. Thanks for all that you've done. Who the fuck is... He looks like the hippie dude from uh, Mother One. Lloyd, Lloyd, buddy. Oh, me, oh, my. You came to rescue me, pal. Oh, Ness? I'm Tony. I'm Lloyd's best friend. I've known him for the longest time. All right, I just want to know, are there, are there enemies still here? Or is it safe to walk through? Because I'll, I'll walk back if, uh, if there's no enemies. But if there's enemies, then I'm exit mousing because, like, I don't, I don't know how much more lucky we can get. Normally, um. Normally I stream around the same time as I did today, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time or so. Although, was that, was that when I started or did I start a little after 8? I might have started a little after 8. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the normal time that I stream. Um, sorry, I got something else, right? Saturn ribbon, pixie bracelet. Was it a coin? Wait, I'm confused. Didn't I get something else? Saturn Nerd. Ah, we need to do something about his inventory. I guess move his diamond band. Also maybe the life noodles. Here, Omar. Have have that. Also the life noodles we'll give to Ness for now, I guess. Look at that defense boost. Up by 30, that's really good. Cool. Alright. Uh, enemy enemies? Surprisingly, no so far. I mean, I guess they did say that the base stop, stopped operating, but still. Cool. Oh, before I forget, I mean, so, Onet Library has book for the swamp people save so that'll be my note to go off of tomorrow right tomorrow is wednesday is that right yeah must be um so yeah i don't think there's anything that would stop me from streaming tomorrow short of like getting distracted by a million things or something like that, but I think it should be fine overall. Um, so expect a stream. 
again, you know, Sunday I said I was going to stream on Monday, but I was sick yesterday, so that's, oh wait, that's a dead end. Um, but I would definitely expect to stream, I think, tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And, you know, hmm. There wasn't any, um, any soundstone stuff here. Which is a little bit of a bummer when you do a whole dungeon and there isn't something like that at the end. But I guess it will probably be underneath that stone that's in the swamp, I bet. Probably through like a short other dungeon or something. And then after that we'll only have one more. Though where we'll go from there I don't know, but we'll find out. Hello little buddy. It'll be fun to find out either way though. I only send you an earned earthbound tribute when you finish the game. Like um, when you say earthbound tribute, you mean like a like a retrospective video or something like that? Because anything that's gonna have like a bunch of spoilers in there and like that, I prefer after the game. Oh, speaking of, I guess question on the um, the short cartoon that you sent. I saw like the first frame of it. it looks like they're in the ocean. So is that just like the kraken scene? animated or should I be wary of any any kind of spoilers in that and maybe just put into a watch later list now as long as we don't get murdered by cave boys we'll be okay oh god I don't know. Get, get out. Oh, the lag. Like, the SNES can't handle that many. That many people moving all at once when it loads, apparently. Alright, this is a good place to save. Okay, so heal up, save, and we'll call it a day. Whew. I don't think I have a, a stupid silly meme or any silly pictures like that to show like I normally do at the end of a stream. I didn't get anything exciting. Yeah, sadly. Oh, we can get rid of the uh, map now as well. I think. Record, please and thank you. Good night, sleep tight. And we're a great team. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Yeah, so here you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day or night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I uh, hope you all have a nice time, you know, doing whatever it is that you're going to do for the rest of your day or what whatever it'll be hopefully it goes well so bye for now enjoy your mcdonald's five dollars for a meal at mcdonald's i need more meat in my diet <laughs>